Well, hello, hello. National Football League picks. Week 15 already, if you can believe it. Week 15 picks. Uh, now, the schedule is kind of up wishy-washy or whatever you want to call it. Seems around the holidays, the NFL always does this, so bear with me here. Tomorrow night's game, Las Vegas Raiders giving three to the Chargers. After what I've seen from the Raiders last week, I'd take Alabama all over them, Ohio State, whatever. You got get the idea. Raiders are terrible. But the Chargers ain't no good either. But they're better than the Raiders. Take the Chargers to the points. Cover. Now this is where it gets weird. Uh, set three Saturday games we got. Cincinnati Bengals giving three to the Vikings. Now, both these teams, seven and six. Both these teams starting back up quarterbacks. And I don't know what the situation is in Minnesota, whether it's going to be Josh Dobbs or Ryan uh, Mallett or whatever the heck his name was. But I think Jake Browning's going to be okay. I know he got that scary injury. But whether it's Browning or McCarron, don't matter. Uh, I like the Bengals. Of course, they're my team. I'm going to take them, right? Like I said, any win we get right now is a bonus, but I'll take it. Indianapolis Colts giving two and a half to the Steelers. Let me tell you something. The fact that Mike Tomlin is still the head coach, what rule can there be for any other coach in this league? Don't ever say nothing bad about any other coach again because I'm going to come right back and say, well, Mike Tomlin did it. And he ain't getting punished. So, yeah, the fact that he's still the head coach is ridiculous. And just goes to show you black privilege. Uh, yeah, the Colts will win. The Steelers are done. Stick a fork in them. They're done. I know they're seven and six. Hey, it don't matter. They're done. Take the Colts. Detroit Lions giving two and a half to the Broncos. Guess what? Here's my upset of the week. And I normally don't pick against the Lions, but I'll tell you right now. The Lions over the last three or four weeks have looked like absolute, well, I don't want to say terrible, but they have looked, they really should be on a three-game losing streak. They got lucky to beat New Orleans. They shouldn't have beat them either. But, and they shouldn't have beat Chicago the first time either. And this time, they got spanked by Chicago. So, the Lions, to me, are really unsteady right now. I don't know what's going on, but Denver, I think Denver's going to go in there and beat them, to tell you the truth. But I don't think Detroit has lost two in a row yet this year, but it's going to happen. So I have a feeling. Take the Broncos in an upset. Now we're into Sunday. Noron Saints giving five to the New York Giants. I'll tell you what, that DeVito or whatever playing for the Giants don't look too bad. Uh, and the Saints, I mean, the Saints are just what they are. They're a middle-of-the-road team. I actually like the Giants on the road because I think DeVito is playing really, really well. Not Danny DeVito, but you know what I mean. DeVito, hometown guy, whatever. He's playing well. So I think the Giants are going to keep riding that wave. And they beat the Saints outright. Cleveland Browns giving three to the Bears. Um, Browns won last week. And like I said, my apologies because I didn't realize Flacco was playing. Joe Flacco played good yet, uh, last week. He played excellent. So, just goes to show you what happens when you've got a good veteran quarterback. Even if it's a backup. I think Joe Flacco delivers again. I think he, uh, the, he, the Browns are going to win. But I was going to say, the Browns are going to be scary. If they get in the postseason, they're going to be scary. They can upset a lot of teams. Because a lot of people are overlooking them right now. And I'm telling you, Joe Flacco's a Super Bowl MVP. Don't sleep on him. Take the Browns. Atlanta Falcons giving three to the Panthers. My high school team could beat the Panthers. They're terrible. Take the Falcons. Don't Doesn't mean anything, but take the Falcons. As far as I'm concerned, the Falcons, they should have put the division away last, last week, but 
Whatever. They'll beat the Panthers. Green Bay giving three to the Buccaneers. Green Bay coming off a bad loss last week to the Giants. That really shouldn't have happened, or I at least didn't think would happen. Because, um, I, man, I flat out did terrible last week. I got both Monday night games wrong, but whatever. I like the Packers to rebound, and uh, I like the Packers outright. Well, obviously, if I like them to rebound, I like them outright. Woo. <laughs> whatever. Miami Dolphins give an eight and a half to the Jets. Miami Dolphins coming off a terrible loss last week. A humiliating loss that shouldn't have happened. They're going to be pissed. But, that being said, I think the Jets are going to cover that. I think the Jets are going to keep it closer than people think. Rival game. Dolphins win, but I like the Jets the points. Kansas City Chiefs give it three to, or so. Kansas City Chiefs give it eight to the Patriots and cry baby Mahomes. Uh, well, it's simple. Uh, the Chiefs will win by default because they're playing the Patriots, but doesn't mean anything. And uh, don't worry, Patrick, the refs will get right back on your side, just like it's supposed to be. And, uh, yeah, they'll beat the Patriots outright. I would love to see the Patriots win this game. That'd be freaking hilarious. But I don't think it's going to happen. Take uh, the uh, Chiefs. Tennessee Titans given two and a half to the Texans. I don't understand that line. I know the Texans lost last week, but, and the Titans won a big game, but the Texans are going to rebound, and they're going to beat this team outright. C.J. Stroud, real deal. San Francisco 49ers give it 13 to the Cardinals. Yeah, 41 to 7, 49ers are back. They're going to kill them. Take a 49ers in a blowout. 49ers are back, people. Los Angeles Rams give it 6 to the Commanders. I like the Rams, but the Commanders, I don't know. The Commanders are a team right Change, change them back to the Redskins. Come on. Who gives a shit? They've been the Redskins for 70, 80 years or whatever it is. Oh, but because that's offensive. <laughs> it's offensive, so they have to change their name along with the Cleveland Indians. Seriously, grow up. The Washington Redskins, what they should be, are getting six points against the Rams. Uh, the Rams will win, but I think Sam Howell's got a future. Not this year, but I think he'll build. Get, the Rams win this game, though. Here's a good game. Buffalo Bills are actually favored one point over Dallas in Buffalo. Buffalo coming off a big win last week uh, against the Kansas City Chiefs, but the Cowboys were coming off a decisive win over the Philadelphia Eagles. Cowboys should have beat them the first time, but thanks to the officials, you know, they couldn't have that. You know, they couldn't have Dallas beat Philly twice because it's better in the script. But, yeah, but Dallas should have beat them both times. But, this is going to be tough for Dallas. It's going to be a lot tougher than you think. A dome team going on the road in Buffalo, it's going to be frigid cold probably. I think Dallas is going to struggle. I took them to win, but I'm taking a huge chance at that because I know Dallas, listen, Dallas shut me up last week. They've made me a believer, but it still ain't over yet. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. Dallas, it's going to take more than one really good win to impress me or to get me to believe in them 100%. But I like them at the Bills because I think that they're a better team than the Bills, I think. But that's not to say Buffalo ain't a good team. I'm just saying I think the Cowboys in this case are a better team, but they're going in a hostile environment in the cold weather. That's going to be a factor. We'll see. Take the Cowboys. Sunday night, Baltimore giving three to the Jaguars. Why Trevor Lawrence was playing last week, they pulled a Bengals move. Why would you let Trevor Lawrence play injured? It was obvious he was injured. Bad management there. Um, I Part of me wanted to take the Jaguars, 
But let's be honest about it. The Ravens are just freaking good. They're good. I got it. Listen, I'm a Bengals fan. Okay, I hate to admit anything good about the Ravens, but I can't deny it. They're freaking good. And they're going to keep rolling, and they're going to beat Jacksonville outright. Take the Ravens. And finally, Monday night, the Philadelphia Eagles giving three and a half to the Seahawks. Well, Philly's a good team. Great team. Jalen Hurts is a good quarterback. They got a good coach, and but I think Philadelphia got exposed a little bit. I said it, even though Philly's really good, the record says a lot, but they're not the, not as good as they were last year. I've always said that. Few of them games they got lucky. Like I said, they should have lost to Dallas both times. They uh, Detroit, I think, was the other one. Correct me if I'm wrong. They should have lost to Detroit. But, anyway, uh, yeah, take the Eagles. So there is your picks, people. Um, I am going to Arizona, by the way, uh, for Christmas. So, again, same case scenario. Um, I'll try to get to the rest of the picks for the rest of the year. I'm for sure we'll get to them next week, but, I mean, let's be honest. It, this is the point in the season where... The playoffs are what the real football is right now. So, take care, guys, and we'll see you soon.